Thanks for being with us. Last year we reviewed the Dossophene Mirror Hubei Wallet. Since then the company has renamed itself to Open Seas Leather, which is a translation of Dossophene Mirror from German. I took the Hubei out for a test drive for almost really a month and a half or more, so let's get into my carry test experience. But before we get into my general assessments, likes and dislikes, let's do a quick review of the features. The full review of this wallet can be found at the top of the screen and in the notes below. Well, from a feature perspective, let's see what we got here. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the, the wallet that we have. On the front we have a flap. This is maintains security for the contents that are inside. And on the back is really this quick access card slot. And this is what I used 90% of the time because I have just my couple cards in here and my ID. And that's uh, what, really what I used. Every wallet should have one of these. If we go to the interior, we have uh, two card slots. Um, we've got one right here that I didn't tend to use, another one here. And then in the back is the main space for archive or cache. And uh, I did cash, uh, I folded cash once to put it in here. I'm not a real cash person. I just use it for tips or for, you know, emergency, that kind of stuff. But of course, it works very well if you have a cash wrap environment. Um, the only thing that I, about cash wrap for me is if you have a lot of cards in the back here, then, you know, push, pushing cash in can become a little bit of a chore over time. But otherwise, you're just pulling cash out and putting it over. And as you see, even in a cash wrap, uh, it works just fine. So preference really there for you. And that's a quick review of the features of the Open Seas Leather Hubei. Now I didn't get into the other currencies. Yen is still a problem. It may appear that it can fit, which it does, but then it runs into the folded leather down on the interior, which I'll show you right here. So down here in the back, and let me, let me pull out these cards so we can get a view of how this works. So I had to, you know, carry a number of cards. Down, down here in the back is where we have issues. Yeah, so we get some light in here with cash kind of hitting. And it hits right there, uh, right this edge right down there because it's just a little wider than you would expect. And if you don't have anything back in here, it uh, should be an issue. I mean, let's, let's see how, see what I'm talking about. You can see that it, it fits, but just barely. And when you're pushing it in, that's where it hits that piece of leather down here. And so you can fiddle with this with, with yen if you, if you want this wallet, but otherwise I would just fold it because the edges are a little easier to work with. And at that point, if you're not using cash a lot, you can get it in there and it still, it does fit. It is wide enough just, but there is a little interference point. The larger Euro notes are also problematic, but taking those out of the picture, meaning the 50 and the 100, because those aren't really commonly used, all the other Euro notes work just fine as with all the other currencies in that range. The company recommends seven to eight cards and up to 20 slips of cash. If you use cash a lot of the time, then managing it as a wrap, like I mentioned, really is a great way to do it. Of course, if you do it the way that I showed you, where you fold it once, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a fiddle, but if you don't use cash a lot, that's fine. For me, cash is an emergency or tip item, like I mentioned, and so I just keep it folded once in the back. Now, I carry eight to 10 cards between credit cards, IDs, insurance, discount, loyalty, and it's the same stack for every wallet I carry. So now let's get into my likes. What makes this wallet is the exterior slot, like I mentioned, right here in the back. Most of us have one to three cards we use 90 plus percent of the time. That's my case with two cards I used in this wallet and the wallet works due to the external slot. <coughs> now, if, if you use lots of different cards, let me know because, and I know people do because they use certain cards for certain situations because they get cash back or other types of uh, rewards, which is just fine. But really, that's why I harp on this, on this quick access slot a lot because it is really what we do the most, one or two cards. Now the flap in the front is not fiddly and access to the cards in the front front pockets are actually pretty good. I just put everything back in here and really getting in and out with this flap is not a big deal. I, I always just grab it, flip it open like that and just tuck and it's done. It's not a problem when you want to get into it. This uh, cards in the front here are my, of course, next most accessed. And then behind that would be ac just archive cards, loyalty cards, those kinds of things. And again, uh, it sits nice and flush in your pocket as well because it is a little wider and because of that it helps distribute cards out and it uh, ends up conforming to your body a little bit better and uh, of course it's leather and leather is just a wonderful feel smell of course mm. oh yeah it still smells so good and this makes it a wonderful carry now for my dislikes and suggestions on this once you get to the back pocket you do need to dig a bit i think that was pretty obvious but if you organize your cards properly you shouldn't be getting back there very often anyway it's a wide it's, it's really wide there 
but that's to accommodate the cash wrap component of this wallet more than anything else, but it's not terribly burdensome. Carrying a quality leather wallet is a great experience, as most of you know, and you know what? I've had great comments from everybody uh, in the community because people who come to understand the quality of leather and can make comparisons between different manufacturers really begin to have a world open up to them of what's available that they can have custom made for them, really. And so this is a great experience no matter what, as long as you're happy with the capacity and the feature set. And there you go. This is a nice wallet and one you could add to your collection and enjoy carrying. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.